We're asked to find the limit as x comma y approaches the point four comma five of the function y squared divided by the quantity x to the fourth plus y squared. Analyzing the function, notice how the function is defined at the point four comma five. The only point where the function is undefined would be the point zero zero or the origin. Notice that zero comma zero, we would have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. So let's look at the graph of this function. Here we see the graph of the surface. This black point is a point four comma five. And again, we can see the function is defined at this point. Also notice how the function is continuous around this point, approaching the point four comma five. This shows us regardless of what path we take, as we approach the point four comma five, we would be approaching the same function value. And again, because the function is defined at this point, we can find the limit by performing direct substitution. However, if we analyze this graph, as we approach the origin or zero comma zero, notice how it's not clear as whether we would approach the same function value from every path approaching the origin. And therefore, we're not sure if the limit exists at the origin. To determine if it did exist, we would have to approach the origin from different paths. But yet in our case, for this example, because we are approaching the point four comma five, we can simply perform direct substitution, which means we substitute four for x and five for y, which gives us five squared divided by the quantity four to the fourth plus five squared. Simplifying, we have 25 divided by the quantity 256 plus 25, which equals 25 divided by 281, which is our limit. Next, we'll take a look at several algebraic techniques we can use to determine limits when the function is undefined at the point we are approaching. I hope you found this helpful.